studio vlog and uh, my name is Karina and I'm also known as the artistic newfie here on YouTube and I'm also found on other social media platforms as well mainly active over on Instagram I also have an Etsy shop and I'm on patreon as well you can find all my links down in the description below I just wanted to say uh, hello to all the new subscribers and anyone that's been uh, new here lately and uh, just uh, thanks for coming back for all the people that keep coming back and watching my videos each week it's greatly appreciated. Uh, so getting into the vlog for this week, there's not really uh, a lot that I'm going to be filming. So uh, not like things I'm actually doing in the studio. So what I'd like to do is um, combine it with a little bit of artwork, which I really want to get back into putting more art on my channel. Because usually it's all about me um, working on Patreon stuff, which the artwork that I'm going to show is still Patreon stuff. But uh, it's mostly like putting together different items or um, packaging up things and, and, and what have you. And I don't really show a lot of me doing artwork anymore. And I want to get back into that and combine it in with a chatty studio vlog and have a little bit of my life in it as well. Not like my super personal life, but if we go out for a walk and like I have some clips that I'd like to share towards the end of the video of a little... Um, a tiny venture we did outside over the weekend just after we had a snowstorm so uh, I'll put that in closer towards the end just in case people don't want to watch it but it'll be there if you if you want to see what that's all about but I figured if I do things like that it would let you guys get to know me a little bit better and if I include a little bit more of my somewhat personal life maybe you can get a little bit more insight of who I am and uh, what I like to do outside of this room because usually when there's a studio vlog this is all you see and I'm usually sat down and I'm just usually working on something so let's see if we can't make these vlogs a little bit more interesting fingers crossed and we're gonna go from there. Hey guys I thought I'd come on here real quick to I keep forgetting which way I need to look uh, to show you um, I guess an alteration that I made to the memo pad the crystal memo pad I got it in a plastic bag already so it's kind of a little bit awkward but the crystals are a lot darker um, like the way they show up in the actual image I printed this in CMYK and it actually looks a lot nicer and the blue out around the edges is a more vibrant blue and I put my name down here in white um, I had it up here before and I think this would look a lot nicer so this is just how it's uh, how it's packaged and uh, I guess now you can see what the size of it is and if you've been kind of wondering if you'd want to maybe order one or not um, and not really sure what this what the size is that's kind of that's what it looks like, so. The dog is chasing the cat. The cat is yowling at the dog. And I'm not doing anything about it. I'm tired. I'm very, I'm very, very tired. It is 27th. I didn't get a chance to get the sticker sheets done yesterday because I'm still designing the last sticker. Um, it's quite late. I was up early this morning. I got up and did a few things and then I fell back to sleep. And uh, I just got up and took care of the dogs, put them outside, got myself a vanilla biscotti coffee. And uh, I'm now sitting down at my desk wondering what the hell I did yesterday to not get as much done as what I wanted to do. Uh, Cause I still have to uh, do the original. I have to finish the sticker sheet. I have to do a wallpaper, edit the video footage for the draw with me to put that up between today and tomorrow. I could put that up on Friday too, but, um, or I can put it up over the weekend. So it's not that big of a deal. I got really excited this morning when I opened up my email and it said that I had an email from Sticker Mule and that I could get a um, hundred feet of their their tape for nine dollars so I eagerly clicked on it because I was gonna do it and I went and clicked on it and like oops you're in the wrong country here's the Canadian prices so it changed to $24 that's a big freaking junk um, <laughs> so I got 
disappointed. But what I think I'm going to do is I have some paper there that I use for um, just crappy um, envelope stickers, like the please do not bend stuff. And they're like $15 for 100 sheets, so I can easily get some more. What I want to do is I think I want to make some uh, tape with those. So it'll be um, stickers, not tape. I know it's not the eagle friendly stuff um, that maybe that's on sticker mule. I don't even know if it is uh, eco friendly, but I figured at least if I have it here, it's less money that I have to spend. And I know I need to get ink soon anyway, so it's not going to make a difference. So I, I've been using my Canon eco tank. Now this is the third year that I've been using it. Yes. Yes. This is going on my third year and I still have a quarter tank of ink left in all the reservoirs, except for the black, the black still half. The black one's bigger anyway, so uh, it lasts a very long time. Mind you, I've had some problems with the nozzles and everything, but a couple cleanings here and there, and it kind of goes back to the way that it was anyway. So, good God, I look tired today. Anyhow, um, I was thinking about designing some packaging tape stickers for my packages, and um, I guess they'll mostly be used each month for Patreon, unless someone places an order which uh, I've received two orders uh, since roughly about the middle of December. So we'll see how that goes. But there's gonna be a lot of changes coming to my Etsy store, but I don't wanna talk about that. I feel like all I've done in this video already is talk about uh, Patreon and uh, I just wanna continue um, on a advertisement spree in the video. But I was recording the process of the shoe that I was making yesterday on my DSLR and then Jeremy came home and he's like, you wanna go chill? And I'm like, okay, I'll go chill. <laughs> we were both so tired. And uh, I ended up working on the shoe on my iPad and now it's not gonna go together with the DSLR footage. So what I might do is I might just put in like a little overlay or something and uh, show how I started off the sketch. But the sketch looks nothing like what the sticker does in the end anyway because my sketches are awful they they just start out as a hot mess and then i build on top of it from there so i mean i could start it with a stick man and get portraits oh i'm bad for that anyway um i'm gonna go and try to check some things off of my uh long to-do list and tomorrow afternoon is a dud as well because tomorrow afternoon i have to go to gander we, um, I don't have a dentist appointment, but the kid does, so she's gonna be thrilled about that. So I'm gonna go and hack some things off of this list and draw in my sleepy face for the 27th of January, and I'll meet you back here in a bit. <laughs> It's the 29th, and this is the state of my room. After making Patreon stuff, 
I had to switch this around. I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, because this happened. Um, I may have had a meltdown and ate some chocolate while I was doing this. But this is the result. This is the end result of making my Patreon sticker sheets for the month. These are some duds I have here. But this is what they look like. Uh, these are available up until the end of the month. But uh, this is... All of this is wasted, or most of it is wasted sticker paper uh, because my Cricut wouldn't cut. So I had to do a hard reset on the Cricut. If you don't know how to do that, I'm going to explain it to you in just a moment. But I have to get my studio, my room here, back into a little bit of a working condition. And I have something over there on the desk that I want to show you guys. But the reason why I had to move the Cricut was because I couldn't see what was going on. And I don't use this stuff up here only like when I get orders and stuff. So um, I had to just shimmy everything up just so I can have a better look at what's happening on the Cricut because I'm only short and I couldn't really see up in here. I could see the load it and everything, but I couldn't see it. Anyway, um, it just moved around just a little bit. So I'm going to clean up and then I'm going to show you step-by-step uh, step what the Cricut, I'm going to say Cricut people, told me to do to reset, a hard reset on this thing. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get this cleaned up. All right, guys, before I show you what I did with the Cricut, I just wanted to show you the stickers that I got from Pixie Sticks. I ordered these before Christmas, and there was an issue with the, the mail and, and getting them here and everything. So I'm glad they finally arrived. They are super cute. I really love the raven and the skull and the candle. Um, that was one of the things that drew me to the sticker sheet. Very nice quality stuff. If you haven't checked out her channel or her shop, please go do so. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Look how cute they are. She also sent me a Christmas card, which I won't open. It's back right there. And she sent me uh, this one with the Christmas card. I believe this is a part of her Patreon sticker pack from uh, over Christmas, I believe. So that's really super cute. I love how um, detailed her work is, but not overcolored um, <laughs> like maybe some of mine. <laughs> I got a lot of tips and tricks from uh, Kate, so it's it's really nice. And I absolutely, absolutely love this sticker right here. Again, this was part of her Patreon sticker pack um, for a couple months ago, and I really wish I had signed up to her Patreon at that point in time, but I didn't. But I am joined up in her sticker club now. I think it's called, I don't think it's called the sticker club. Um, she has Patreon as well, but you can check that out. Uh, but I am going to be receiving her sticker sheet from now on. So, um, and then there's this one right here. And this one is super cute. Really nice quality stickers. Nice. And I'm assuming the sticker is not thick, but the, the backing of the sticker, you can tell that it's really good sticker paper. Really nice. It's super cute. I love the details in the, in the stars. They look super 3D. And a little thank you card came with it. Again, super, I didn't even realize there was a print on the back of this. Look how cute this is. I opened this beforehand because I was having a really bad day yesterday and I needed something good to happen and this came in the mail. So I opened it uh, without being on camera. But look how nice that is. Look at the detail. It's really super nice. I need to get some thank you cards made like this. And it feels so nice too. It feels really nice and velvety. Uh, just like the one that I got from Sasha. So it's it's really nice. I have to do something like this. Super, super nice. And uh, this was a Christmas card. And uh, I don't have any Christmas cards to send back, but I am going to send her back something. We use all of our Christmas cards this year. And because it's now the end of January, um, we don't have anywhere to buy Christmas cards. So um, I'm going to send a package, a little thank, thank you back to Kate. And um, if you're eyeing out the sticker over here, this one is from uh, Ruby's Imagination or Dream Cloud Emporium. And uh, I stuck that one on my book there. But yeah, super, super nice. Thank you so much, Kate, for the extra goodies. And I really, really like the sticker sheet. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do with all the stickers. I think I might um, maybe use, uh, where is it? I don't know where it is. Uh, maybe like a, um, a portfolio type book so I can put them all in. I don't think I want to use the stickers. That's the bad thing. I like, I want to collect them because they're art. And I want to put them in like a little book, so to speak. So I think that's what I might do. These individual stickers I'll use and I'll put them somewhere. But I don't think I want to, uh, to, I'm going to say ruin the sticker sheet. So, 
definitely go check her out. And now I'm going to show you what I did to fix the cricket. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you what I did to fix the cricket. I know I could screen record on the computer, but I just rather not do that. So you have to go down to the file explorer down at the bottom here if you're running Windows 10. Uh, any other Windows, I'm not... Um, I don't remember how to get into it, but anyway, you go into the C drive of the computer, you go into the users, go into your name, uh, that's like whoever the, the main user of the computer is. For me, it was just for my name and this Cricut design space up here. I was told that the Cricut machine holds on to images even after you're done using them and you delete them from the software. So the lady that I was speaking to had me completely delete this folder and, um, I, it's it's just saves a bunch of stuff from from the machine and she said that if I deleted it it wouldn't uh, interfere with any of my safe projects and it didn't um so delete this at your own risk but this that's what she told me to do and all of my items were still safe afterwards so I'm not going to delete it now because my Cricut is running smoothly so she got me to delete this then she had me go into my um control panel and she had me go into the uninstall programs so you go into the, in, into the control panel and you go uninstall the program in here. You find Cricut Design Space and delete it off the computer completely. That's the first thing that she had me do that didn't fix a problem. It might fix a problem for you if you're having some issues with your Cricut. The next thing that she told me to do, I'm just going to zoom back out here for a second, um, was to hold down on the load button, which is the one here with the arrows on it. And while I held down on it, she told me to unplug the power cable from the back of the Cricut here. And she told me to continue to hold down on this load button until I plugged the cord back in in and the power button up here turn red and that would do a hard reset on the Cricut machine. So whatever the machine had been told to previously do, it got rid of all of that. Then she told me to go back to the computer, go into Cricut uh, website, and then she told me to install Cricut software again. So that is what I did here. I downloaded the design space for Windows and went back in here into the Cricut Design Space, I went up to the three lines at the top of the page or the window here. Let me zoom this in. I went up in here. I went uh, to the calibration setting right here, calibrated the machine, and I did a cut and it worked perfectly. So that's how you do a hard reset in um, less than three minutes. And my computer and my printer and my Cricut all worked nicely together and the software worked and everything was fine and dandy. And I got my sticker sheet cut out. So that's how I fixed my problem. This is the old skidoo trail down here, hey? Right here. And then it used to go up that way, but it's uh, clearly gone. Yeah. And right here too, this one might still go up. Yeah, this one still can go through, I think.
guys, it is Monday. Uh, I believe it's the 8th of February. Just outside with the dogs because we have a snowstorm brewing and uh, Pixie is not too happy there. But uh, <laughs> Archer just brought me his ball. So he wants me to give that a kick. I'm outside in my pajama pants, winter boots and a winter jacket. But I'm trying to give them a run before it gets too blistery outside and I'm currently working on the remaining stickers for the Patreon sticker sheet for this month. So I'll have an update on that over on Patreon if you're interested. And uh, I'm getting cold so I'm going to put the phone away, play with the dogs for a little bit longer and uh, then we're going to go back inside. Look, <laughs> he's shaking. He wants to play but he's cold. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish the sticker sheet and uh, work on a sticker sheet for Etsy later this afternoon as well. Oh, the wind's picking up real bad. He's just being a pain in the ass. <laughs> All right, so it is the 9th of February and I'm just currently editing the vlog because this is the third week and I haven't really put one up. But I do have uh, about a half an hour vlog. I still have a couple of days left. I want to get this up on Thursday, uh, maybe Friday morning. So I still have a couple of days to record some stuff. Uh, I am finished doing the editing for this part. I'm trying to uh, edit day by day so I kind of see how much footage I have. kind of want to do like a half an hour a week week of uh, vlog stuff so uh, I'm at 23 minutes so the next couple of days will fill you know finish filling that up uh, this is the sticker sheet that I'm working on for Etsy this is as far as I got with it last week uh, and I haven't been able to touch it so far this week because I've still been working on patreon stuff which is on here Let's see. so this is one of the stickers for the patreon sticker sheet for this month which will go out the first week of march and uh i have this one and there's four or five other stickers as well uh, i already gave a glimpse of this over for my patrons so i'm okay to show this one and i have a few other stickers as well i'm currently working on a house and i'm trying to learn how to uh, digitally paint trees and shrubs so it's taken me a little bit longer but if you're interested in this sticker plus the rest of the sticker sheet you can only get it on um, Patreon. Either which way, this is what I'm working on today and I have an order to make. Someone has ordered uh, five of my Bumblebee stickers and a, um, what do you call it? The beetle, the scarab beetle that I have. So I have to get that ready as well and that has to go up by Friday. So uh, I have that in the process, uh, in, in the works as well. So I'm going to go get some work done and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I've been having a little bit of trouble with um, shipping from Canada um, the past couple of months. Packages aren't arriving in a timely manner. Um, it's not really my fault, but uh, everything that I send usually doesn't have tracking on it because it's not cheap to send items with tracking information from Canada to other places. So I've been going over the Canadian, uh, the Canada Post website and kind of going, um, trying to figure out what the best plan of action is. All right, guys, so I've gone into the track packet for international. So 11 business days is 33 36 Canadian. So the tracked international package is out of the question. Uh, no one's going to pay $33 for shipping. So what I'm going to do from now on, everything that's going international is going to go by airmail rather than surface because there's just a slight difference in the price. So I'm going to have to adjust my Etsy fees uh, for shipping uh, to include 
this plus the cost of the mailing supplies. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's everything that I can ship international air from now on, I'll do that. So it only takes about two weeks to get there rather than the, um, <laughs> the three months on the ground. So uh, yeah, we're going to do that. So I just want to give you guys an update. So I just spent uh, a little bit of time this afternoon cutting out some new stickers for the Etsy shop. I ended up having to cut these out by hand because the Cricut uh, was cutting them way off again. So clearly whatever fix I had uh, wasn't really a fix. So instead of Archer's whining for food, <laughs> you can hear him. Um, so instead of wasting more sticker paper, I decided to cut them all out by hand. So uh, these will be going up in the Etsy shop soon. Uh, hopefully in the next little while, I'll provide a date as to when everything is going to be updated. And some items have already been removed from uh, Etsy, some stickers. So if you're interested in getting any stickers or buttons or anything over there, have a look because there are some things that will not be continuing as I had mentioned in my last vlog. So yeah, just wanted to update. I like the stickers. I really, I really like both of them. Um, so let me know which one you guys like the most. The fairy in the back with the maple leaf tattoo. Or um, I call this one here the moon child, but I don't know what else to call it. So that's what I have so far. All right, guys, I know this is a bit of an awkward angle here, but um, I just wanted to show you. I picked up a pack of these at Walmart today. It's the 10th of February, I believe. I think it's the 10th. Oh, it's the 11th. It's the 11th of February. And um, I had to go to... Um, out of town today to get groceries because uh, COVID's getting real bad here again and I don't know if and when they're going to shut anything down. So I just wanted to go and get a few weeks worth of groceries and prepare the family and the household just in case. So while I was at Walmart, I walked past the card collecting area to get some of these um, little sheets with the the nine sections in where you can put cards but I'm gonna use it for my stickers. I do have some stickers that aren't gonna fit in there but I have another solution for that. I'm gonna stick in one of those really big um, like where you put paper in so I'll have something else to take care of the bigger stickers but for the most part everything I make going forward is gonna fit in here and I did get this binder as well so I am just going to pop everything in and uh, sort out the stickers and uh, we're gonna go from there.
Okay, so this is kind of a, a bit of a better angle at what I have done here. But I've just got a empty, or not like a, a pocket one, but just like one for paper put in the front with the packaged ones in there. And I'll probably do that for all of them. And what I might do is put like a little post-it note somewhere or even over here on the side. Uh, I use erasable pens quite often, so I can put a list of how many of each that I have so I know if I'm getting low or whatever. So um, I don't think I'm going to be making any more of these once they sell. So if you want to grab a pack of those. Uh, they're still listed over on Etsy. Um, these here I put into individual little cellophane bags to go in there just to keep them separate. Uh, these are still quite popular over on the store, so I'm not going to be getting rid of those um, at least in the next few months anyway. So then I have these. I have this one here that I just made yesterday and this one. Archer is in here and he's chasing the light from the phone. Any shine on the wall, he goes crazy. Um, but these two I made yesterday, they're both cut out by hand because Cricut wouldn't cut them. And these are some of the other ones that I have. These are just, uh, I have quite a few designs in mind for this. So I'm keeping this, this is hopefully all going to be filled out with those uh, lady type stickers, eventually fairies and, and what have you. Uh, this is freebies down here. And then I have these six stickers up there still listed on the Etsy shop. Excuse me, mister. I'm trying to talk here. Out. He's a pain, I tell you. And then, oh, see, that's one thing I was afraid of that was going to happen, that they were just going to start falling out like that. Um, but I do have a lot put in here. Usually I'll only have maybe like three or four of each sticker. Um, and it'll be a lot easier to keep them in. And worst case, I can put a little bit of washi tape on there to keep them closed up. And washi tape, it's easy to get off anyway. So I went to look for one of those great big storage things with the drawers, but I couldn't find anything in Gander that would fit. Uh, I didn't want to wait on uh, Amazon. But I mean, this is, this is, um, it's doable. I've got 35 of these sheets with nine pockets in them each, so it's not like I'm going to run out anytime soon. And um, it's very easily interchangeable if I change up my stickers. Just these right here. These are these are a little bit annoying, I think. I think I'm going to have to do something else with these. But uh, yeah, that's my sticker storage solution currently, and uh, maybe it might be helpful to somebody else.